Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we want to make a very simple facial mask from a stretchy t-shirt or any stretchy fabric you have around. This is the one I have at home. It's just a tube of a neat fabric that's very stretchy. You can put it on your neck as a neck scarf or you can place around your forehead as a hairband to prevent sweating when you're doing sports. That's why they also call it the sweat band. So the idea is to add a pocket inside so you can place filters and use it as a mask. You can cut up the material from an old t-shirt that's stretchy. Not all t-shirts have same stretchiness and you have to test it a little bit. You can just hold it and give it a stretch this way horizontally and if it stretch a lot then that's a good material. Some of them might be very stiff and you cannot stretch too much then that's not suitable for this mask. Before you cut the pattern you should know the horizontal direction has the most stretchiness. That means we'll cut it this way so when we go over our head this is the most stretchy part. And the pattern is very simple because it's just a rectangle. You can cut two pieces of rectangle, one from the front of the t-shirt, one from the back. And for the final product, I have it around eight and a half or nine inch wide. This one I have eight and a half. And this one is close to nine. And the final dimension, the width is about eight and a half or eight and three quarter inch. If you have a bigger head, maybe nine inches. The length I have is about 14 inches and you can adjust it. We really don't need it that long, but you will look nicer because you can use it as a scarf. One good thing about using the neat fabric or the stretchy fabric is that it doesn't fray. So we don't need to finish the edge because it's so stretchy, so it's forgiving and it's easier to fit different sizes and shapes. For the top and bottom edges, you can just leave it roll up. You don't have to finish it or you can finish it if you like. And since I'm using a t-shirt, they already have the finished edge in the bottom. So I'm going to reuse the hem and draw from here for my pattern. So I draw 8.5 inches in the center and plus half inch and I'm going to draw about 14 inches up. After we draw up the pattern, including the seam allowance on both sides, I'm just going to cut it out for both layers. I also draw up a 7 inch by 4 inch rectangle to use as a pocket for the filter insert. And you only need the one layer for this one. So I cut out my two layers of the fabric and the four by seven pocket. If you are making regular mask and run out of the elastic, you can cut up the t-shirt around one inch wide and just pull it. It's not a direct replacement for elastic, but you can cut maybe 10 or 12 inch long. You can use it as a ribbon and tie it up behind your head. And you don't have to worry about sewing the edges because it doesn't fray. I give it an iron so it's flat and easier to work with. And you can see this is the stretchy part. For the pocket, it's not as important for the direction of the stretchiness. If you are cutting from your own fabric and not from a t-shirt, it doesn't have to be two pieces. It can be a big piece of a rectangle. So you only have one side seam. The next part, I'm going to sew the wire for the nose area and I'm using twisty tie. And this step is optional. You don't have to add the wire if you don't want to or if you don't have it at home. We'll place the wire in the center near the top and just fold it down a little bit, maybe half inch. So it has enough room for you to sew around the wire. 
so you can just sew on three sides around the wire or if you want it to be removable you can just sew the button line so you can pull out the wire if you need to after we sew the wire insert on the top we can just place the pocket directly below overlapping the fabric and sew a line on the top here and a line here so you can insert any filter from the side this one I use sewing machine just a straight stitch but if you want to be safe you can use small zigzag so when you stretch the fabric the stitch doesn't break or you can use any stretch stitch on your sewing machine if you have that choice if you have a serger you will be even better but we can always go back to the hand sewing because there's only a few lines of sewing for this project so that's what I'm going to do now for hand sewing try to pick a needle that has a bigger hose at the end so it's easier to thread tie a knot or two knots at the end and cut off the extra place your wire in the middle and fold down about half inch now we'll start from one side and uh, get it close to the wire so it creates a little channel and I will start sewing from the back side I'm going down and I want to secure the first stitch when you pull the thread toward the end you can see there's a loop here I'm going to go through the loop now it's secured in the back side and you can start sewing one of the strongest stitch for hand sewing is the back stitch to do the back stitch you go back a little bit maybe eighth inch quarter inch or half centimeter it's up to you when the stitch is smaller you will look nicer and then go forward make sure it doesn't get caught on anything and then go back to the previous stitch and it's easier to see on this side you go back down and uh, forward up and then go back down When you are at the end of the thread, you need to change your new thread. You can tie a knot or two knots like that. And make sure you press your finger here and pull it tight so the knot is close to the button. And you can just cut up, cut up the extra. After we sew the wire, we can just place the pocket piece directly below the wire and overlap a little bit and just sew a line here and a line here the same way with the back stitch or if you want you can just use a rolling stitch. After threading and tying a knot at the end, I'm going to start from the back side so the knot will be hiding inside now that's the finished pocket you can insert from the size and here is the nose wire 
So the next thing to do is to connect these two pieces together. And the easiest way is to have the right side facing each other. This is the back side. You can see that's the back side because we have a pocket. So the right side facing each other. And we can just sew two lines the same way with the back stitch or on a machine. And if you want, you can finish up sewing this edge. You can finish these two little edges here. And you can do the same with the other side. Or you can just leave it because it's the jersey material. It's not going to fray. So I'm just going to leave it like that and line up both rectangle and just sew a line with around half inch seam allowance. And I can just hand sew it with the back stitch. If you use the sewing machine, the straight stitch will be fine too because you don't need it to be stretchy. And you can place some binder clips to hold it together or you can use pins. You can start from the bottom side up. So after one or two inches, you can try it on and see if it fits. And you can adjust it on the side that matters the most. The top side with the pocket. So that's the finished product. This is the back side. And it doesn't look pretty, but it will work. As for filter, I heard the kitchen tower will work pretty well too. So you can just cut up a piece and insert to the pocket. I heard the air conditioner filter or the vacuum filter has some fiberglass and it might not be good to breathe in for a long time. So maybe it's safer just use paper towel or two layers of those tissue papers. and replace it every day or every time you go out. So let's place it inside. So that's the hand sewed one. If you use matching color of the thread, you will look nicer. And this one is done by sewing machine. I leave the button just roll up and I only have one seam in the back because I have long enough fabric from my stash. But either way, it's the same idea. Here is the nose wire. The only thing is to make sure the pocket is high enough, close to the edge. So when you breathe, it's covered by the filtered area. I hope you like this video and see you next time.